okay so in this lecture we are going to study about generation of points on a parabolic arc now we all know that there are two kinds of parabola which are symmetric about x axis which is given by y square equal to 4ax and the other one which is symmetric about the y axis which is x square equal to 4ay so this parabola looks of this kind and this parabola looks up on this kind depending on, upon whether a is positive or negative so basically these are the two types of parabolas now we will look both the cases one by one so let us try to concentrate on the first type of parabola that is y square is equal to 4 ax so let me write type 1 which is y square equal to 4 ax type of parabola which is symmetric about the x axis so i will draw the parabola here so this is somewhat the parabola now we know that for this type of parabola what are the parametric equations the parametric equations are given by x comma y is equal to a theta square 2a theta a theta is varying from 0 to infinity okay so theta remember that we are writing a theta but theta is not the angle theta it doesn't represents the angle as in the case of circle and ellipse so theta goes from 0 to infinity so this is the value of theta as theta increases the points on the parabola start moving towards infinity so this is the fashion the movement of theta from 0 to infinity means that the points on the parabola are going to move towards infinity this theta does not represent the angle from the positive x-axis okay so this is one if one important difference in all the earlier problems and parabola now we will assume that this parabola has points p1 p2 and so on on an arc of parabola we are going to generate the points so i'm going to call this point p1 the next point i'm going to generate which is which is going to be called p2 and so on in general pi and pi plus one so what are the coordinates of pi pi will be corresponding to the point xi yi whose parametric form will be given by a theta i square comma 2a theta i the point pi plus 1 is nothing but xi plus 1 yi plus 1 which is a theta i plus 1 comma square 2a theta i plus 1 the difference between theta i and theta i plus 1 this difference will be denoted by delta theta as we did in our previous problems therefore theta i plus 1 will be nothing but theta i plus delta theta now we will try to write down the point pi plus 1 what is pi plus 1 pi plus 1 is xi plus 1 comma yi plus 1 which is equal to a theta i plus 1 square 2a theta i plus 1 which is equal to a theta i plus 1 is 
theta i plus delta theta square 2a theta i plus delta theta which is equal to a theta i square plus 2a theta i delta theta plus a delta theta square comma 2a delta 2a theta i plus 2a delta theta now a theta i square is nothing but xi plus 2a theta i is yi delta theta plus a delta theta square comma 2a theta i is yi plus 2a delta theta these are the coordinates of the point pi plus 1 if i want to write them in terms of pi i should first observe that this contains xi this contains yi this contains yi but these two terms do not contain xi and yi so they are basically translations and we know that for translations if i want to write this i have to represent the point xi yi in terms of the homogeneous coordinates so i will write it as xi plus 1 yi plus 1 1 is equal to then i will write xi yi 1 and here i am going to need a 3 by 3 matrix and what is that 3 by 3 matrix so xi multiplied by 1 plus yi multiplied by delta theta plus 1 multiplied by the translating factor is a delta theta square the second column is no xi means 0 xi plus 1 times yi plus translation is 2a delta theta and last you have 0 0 1 so this means that this is going to be my recurrence formula to generate the points on the parabola so this point will be later on pi plus 1 corresponding to pi plus 1 this point will correspond to pi and this is the matrix that we are going to say as a so this matrix we are going to call the matrix a in brief i am trying to say that pi plus 1 is equal to pi multiplied by a now when we are given such types of problems there are two two types sometimes the value of x is restricted between two values sometimes the value of y is restricted between two fixed values those two fixed values will be called as x min x max or i'm going to call them y min y max so the first point in this case that i'm going to generate that i'm going to take will be represented by x min y min in this case again i'm going to choose the first point to be as x min and y min x min will be given to us here so we near we need to find what is the value of y min so p1 will be x min which is given to us and what is y min we know that y is equal to what the what are the parametric equations for y 2a theta so y will be 2a theta min in this case y min is given to us so we have to write the value of x corresponding again we know that x is equal to a theta square so here i'm going to write x is equal to a theta min square what is theta minimum we know that x is equal to a theta square so x min will be a point which will be generated because of 
theta min square so this means that the expression for theta min will be x min upon a and its square root in this case what is the value of theta min again here we know that y is to a theta so the minimum value of y will be generated by the minimum value of theta so this means theta min here in this problem will be y min upon 2a and what is theta max let's also calculate what is the value of theta max similarly if i write the formula for theta max i'm going to get here x max upon a and here theta max in this case will be y max upon 2a these two values of theta min and theta max will give me the value of delta theta this delta theta we will need in the computation of matrix this is the reason we are looking for delta theta for to find delta theta we must find theta min and theta max now we know that this parabolic arc is open arc and we want to generate n points so for n points we will divide it by n minus 1 as done in the previous parts so this will this delta theta will be given by theta max minus theta min upon n minus 1 the same value of delta theta the same formula for delta theta will also be used here theta max minus theta min upon 2a the only difference is that for this point theta max and theta min will be used this for the right hand side part theta max and theta min will be used this accordingly now we will go for a problem and clear all these things remember that we are learning about the parabola which is of the type y square equal to 4ax so i am starting with the first question on this type we will solve two problems on this type and two problems on the other type so the first problem that we are going to take is we are going to generate five points on a parabolic arc given by y square equal to 4x where the value of y is restricted from 2 to 10 now let us see how will you solve this kind of problem here the value of n is 5 because you want to generate 5 points when I compare y square equal to 4x with y square equal to 4ax, the value of a that I get is 1. Here, the value of y min and y max is given to us. So, when we compare it with the given inequality, we understand that y min is 2 and y max is 10. this value of y min and y max is going to help me in theta min and theta max theta min by the above formulas is given by y min upon 2a and this is given by y max upon 2a which is 2 upon 2 which is 1 and this is 10 upon 2 which is 5 therefore the value of delta theta which is theta max minus theta min upon n minus 1 will become 5 minus 1 upon 4 which is 1 so the value of delta theta for this problem is 1 the value of a is also 1 for the initial point we know that the first point is chosen to be 
x min y min where x min is a theta min square and y min is given to us in the question so this means that a into theta min square which is a is 1 theta min is also 1 y min is given to be in the problem as 2 because y lies between 2 to 10 so this means that the first point that I'm going to choose is 1 comma 2 now we know that we have to generate the other points using this formula a 3 by 3 matrix which is given by 1 0 0 delta theta 0 0 1 0 a delta theta square 2 a delta theta and 1 and when we put the values of delta theta and a everything is 1 actually so all the values of a and delta theta both are 1 so this formula will become pi plus 1 is equal to pi into 100 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1. so this formula will give me help me to generate the points p2 p3 p4 and p5 so here the matrix is a equal to 1 0 0 and 1 0 and 1 2 1 the first point that we have uh, decided was 1 comma 2 so in the homogeneous coordinates i will write it as 1 to 1 the second point p2 which is p1 star a is 4 4 1 p3 is p2 star a and fourth point is p3 star a fifth point is p5 which is p4 star a so if you collect all the points together i will write p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 so i can see them together this way now we will go to geogebra and we will plot these points 1 2 4 4 and so on these are the homogeneous coordinates so we enter the points here the first point was 1 comma 2 the second point was 4 comma 4 I'm plotting them in the screen aside next is 9 comma 6 the third the fourth is 16 comma 8 and last one was 25 comma 10 so you see the five points here and what were they corresponding to to which parabola were they corresponding to they were corresponding to the parabola y square equal to 4x so see those four, five points are exactly on this parabolic arc in the first quadrant where y goes from 2 to 10 so in the second problem we will now generate uniformly spaced three points on a parabolic arc in the first quadrant where x has values between 3 to 12 and the equation of the parabola is y square equal to 12x now if i compare this parabola y square equal to 12x with the standard parabola y square equal to 4ax we understand that the value of a is equal to 3 here the values of x lie between 3 and 12 so we understand that x min is given by 3 and x max is given by 12 so this means that we can now calculate the value of theta min where theta min is equal to square root of x min upon a which is equal to 12 upon 3 which is x min a is 3 and x min is uh, 3 sorry 
which is so this is one and what about theta max theta max is square root of x max upon a which is 3 which is 12 upon 3 square root of 4 which is 2 this means that delta theta which is theta max minus theta min upon n minus 1 the number of points that we want to generate is 3 so n is 3 which is 2 minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 which is half so delta theta is 0.5 what is the first point that we will be choosing the first point is x min y min x min is given to me that x min is 3 y min is 2a theta min theta min is 1 and a is 3 so this is 3 into 2 into 3 into 1 which is 6 so the first point is 3 comma 6 the formula which generates the other points is pi plus 1 is pi into the 3 by 3 matrix let me write that matrix 1 0 0 delta theta 1 0 a delta theta square 2 a delta theta 1 so the formula of pi plus 1 is pi into 1 0 0 delta theta is 0 0.5 1 0 a into delta theta which is 3 into 0 0.5 whole square will be 0.75 3 2 a delta theta is 3 this is 1 so this will generate all the rest points now we will go into scilab and generate the remaining points so here the matrix a is uh, 100 0, 0. then 1 by 2 1 0 3 by 4 3 1 so this is the matrix the first point that we have taken was 3 comma 6 so let me write here 3 6 and 1 in the homogeneous coordinates p2 is p1 star a and p3 is equal to p2 star a so we get the three points which are p1 p2 and p3 as follows now we will go to geogebra and plot them so the first point was 3 comma 6 the second point was 6.75 comma 9 the third point was 12 comma 12 so we see that these three points are on the sheet and what is it corresponding to to the parabola y square equal to 12x so you see the three points are exactly lying on this parabola in the first quadrant where the value of x lies between 3 to 12. now we will discuss about the parabola x square equal to 4ay this parabola is symmetric about the y-axis so the parametric equations for this parabola are given by x comma y is equal to 2a theta a theta square here we have two cases whenever the value of x is given between two fixed numbers which are called x min and x max and value of y sometimes is given between two fixed numbers which we are going to call y min and y max so the initial point that we will choose will be x min y min as usual here also the initial point will be x min y min x min will be given to us so i will carry it down as it is y min will correspond to a theta min because in parametric equations y is equal to 
a theta min square here y min is given to us so i will keep it as it is and what about the x x is 2a theta so here x is 2a theta min this will be the first point which we will always use what is theta min we know how to calculate theta min now we all know that x is equal to 2a theta therefore x min will give me 2a theta min and therefore theta min value will be x min upon 2a and theta max will give me x max upon 2a and therefore delta theta which is theta max minus theta min upon n minus 1 to generate n points on similar lines here we know that y is a theta square so y min is a theta min square and therefore theta min is given by y min upon a and its square root similarly theta max will be given by y max upon a and its square root the value of delta theta will be the same which is theta max minus theta min upon n minus 1 so this thing will now help us to solve some problems now we will move on to a problem where the parabola will be of the form x square equal to 4ax so problem generate four equispaced points On arc of parabola given by x square equal to 12y where the value of y is restricted between 2 to 5 in the first quadrant so let us start the solution here we have to generate n points means four points means n is equal to four when i compare the parabola x square equal to 12y with 4ay i understand that the value of a is 3 y min and y max is are given to us so from this we understand that y min is 2 and y max is 5 theta min in this case is given by square root of y min upon a which is square root of 2 upon 3 because a is 3 which comes out to be 0 0.8164 theta max will be square root of y max upon a which is square root of y max is 5 and a is 3 so which is square root of 5.3 which is 1.2909 and therefore my value of delta theta which is theta max minus theta min upon n minus 1 n is 4 so this is 4 minus 1 so this minus this upon 3 will come out to be 0 0.1581 the first point we have to find first point we know is given by x min y min y min is given to us y min is 2 corresponding to that we will find the value of x min now we go above and see what is the formula for x min we have already written here that x min is given by 2a theta min I'm sorry I'm in this case 
the value of x min is given by sorry 2a theta min that's correct so we'll use the same thing theta min we have already calculated and we know what is the value of a so x min is equal to 2a theta min I have the value of theta min with me. I have the value of a with me. a is 3. When I use the values of theta min and a, a is 3, so I will get 4.8984, comma 2. So this is the first point. Now let us write the matrix which is going to help us to give other points. The formula is pi plus 1 is equal to pi into the matrix 1 delta theta 0 0 1 0 2a delta theta a delta theta square 1 I will substitute the values of a and delta theta which is 0.1581 in this matrix to get pi plus 1 is equal to pi multiplied by the matrix 1 0.1581 0 0 1 0 2 a delta theta will come to be 0.9486 and a to delta theta a is 3 and delta theta is 0 0.1581 when I calculate that it will come to be 0 0.02499 so this matrix will help us to generate the four points so we will get p2 p3 and p4 from this particular formula we will find them using scilab so the matrix a is as above as we have seen 1 0 0.1581 0 1 and the last row is 0 0.9486 and 0 0.02499 is the 0 0 1 in the last column the first point was p1 equal to 4.8984 and 2 and homogeneous coordinate set will become this well to insert a one here then p2 will be equal to p1 star a p3 is p2 star a p4 is p3 star a so these are the four points that i'm writing together now p1 p2 p3 and p4 now we will plot them in geogebra so the first point is 4.8984 with a 2 the second point is 5.847 comma 2.7994 the third point is 6.7956 comma 3.7488 fourth point is 7.7442 comma 4.848 these are the four points and the, they were corresponding to the parabola x square equal to 12 y so in the fourth problem now we will generate four equispaced points on the arc of parabola x square equal to 8 y in the first quadrant where the value of x lies between 3 to 6 so if i compare the parabola x square equal to 8 y with the parabola x square equal to 4 a y I understand that the value of a is equal to 2 we have to generate four points so the value of n is equal to 4 x min is given to be 3 because x lies between 3 to 6 so x min is 3 and x max is 6 this x min and x max will help us to write the value of theta min which is nothing but 
x min upon 2a a is 2 remember a is 2 which is 3 upon 4 and theta max is x max upon 2a which is 3 upon 2 this theta min and theta max will help us to find delta theta which is theta max minus theta min upon n minus 1 so you am going to use theta min and theta max and divide it by 3 because n, n is 4 so theta min minus theta max minus theta min upon 3 and this comes out to be 0.25 The first point that we choose is x min y min. x min is given to be in the problem. It is 3. y min I can obtain by parametric equations. a theta min square. theta min is 3 by 4 which is 0 0.75. Second so use is here a is 4 into 0.75 square and this comes up to be 3 comma a is 2 sorry this comes out to be 1.1 to 5 so this will be the first point the matrix a that i'm going to use for generating the points we know what is that matrix so pi plus 1 is equal to pi into the matrix A which is 1 delta theta 0 0 1 0 and 2 A delta theta A delta theta square 1 I hope you observe the, this matrix is different as that for the case for y square equal to 4ax please note this so pi plus 1 is equal to pi into 1 delta theta is 0.25 0 0 1 0 2a delta theta comes to be 1 a delta theta comes to be 0. 1 to 5 1 this formula will help us to generate the other three points p2 p3 and p4 we will go into scilab and plot the remaining points so the matrix here is a equal to 1 0 0.25 0 0 1 0 and last row is 1 0. 1 to 5 with 1 so this is matrix a the first point that we are going to choose is uh, 3 comma 1.125 and 1 for the homogeneous coordinates 3 with this the second point will be e1 star a 4 to 1 the third point is p3 which is p2 star a and the fourth point is p4 which is p3 star a so these are the four points i'm going to write them together p1 p2 p3 p4 now we are going to plot them in geogebra So the points were 3 comma 1.125 the second point was 4 2 the third point was 5 comma 3.125 fourth point was 6 comma 4.5 so you get these four points and they were passing and they are the points on which parabola on the parabola x square equal to 8 y you see these four points are on this arc of parabola in the first quadrant where the value of x goes from 3 to 
six.